Eckert bases with occlusion rims are a combination of a base material that accurately fits the cast and an arch-shaped wax build-up or an occlusion rim that occupies the space formerly occupied by the patient's natural teeth. Draw a line that corresponds to the full depth of the sulcus, as the temporary denture base should cover all the areas that will be covered by the final dentures. Apply Vaseline on the surface of the cast. It will act as a separating medium and would prevent the acrylic material from sticking to the surface of the cast. Adapt the material on the surface of the cast, starting from the center in an outward direction. Roll the material into the full depth of the sulcus, as the record base should fully cover the denture bearing area. Use a lacrone carver to cut away excess material, making sure that you don't over remove that material because again, we need the temporary denture base to reach the full depth of the sulcus without being underextended. Mark indents on the residual ridge, anterior to the maxillary tuberosity in the maxilla and anterior to the retromolar pad in the mandible. Once fully set, Inspect the borders of the temporary denture base and finish any sharp edges using an acrylic burr mounted on a straight hand piece. Finally, polish the borders of the temporary denture base using sandpaper. Now, temporary denture bases are ready and next you'll be adapting the wax rims onto these temporary denture bases to fabricate the record block.